Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about how you can watch ESPN online anywhere by using a VPN. So ESPN is great. The trick with it though is depending on where you are in the world, you may not be able to access it online. And so what a VPN does is it allows you to make it look like you're physically in another part of the world. Even though, let's say you may be in New Zealand, you can make it look like or appear that you're physically in the United States and then able to access any content that ESPN offers. So the trick then is just to find the best VPN to help with that. Now there's a lot of VPN options out there, but I wanted to recommend two of my favorites and depending on your situation, I think one of these will be the best fit for you. So the first one is ExpressVPN, and I'll put a link in the description uh, where you can check out more information, including any deals or discounts not available on their website. Now, the reason for ExpressVPN is it's just the best overall. It's the fastest VPN. It gives you the best speeds. It's also extremely user friendly. So they have actually won awards for their apps, and the apps are what you use to put on your device like your phone, your iPhone, your Android phone, or your PC or Mac or maybe it's a gaming device like a PS4 or your smart TV they have custom-made apps for each of these devices that allow the VPN to work on your device so if you want to watch ESPN on your phone no problem if you want to watch it on your computer it's easy to do as well so for example like on your computer you would just open up the app and then you'd go ahead and select the server for the country you want to uh, connect to. So like if you're wanting to watch ESPN, you could make sure you're connected to an American server. Then you can go ahead and uh, whatever service you want to use to watch ESPN through, whether it's a cable provider, or maybe something like Hulu, then you can go ahead and get access to all that great ESPN content. Now, the other nice thing about um, ExpressVPN is they have 24 hour or 24 seven, I should say, chat support. And they are actually really helpful. You get a real person who's happy to help if you get stuck or have any questions about using the VPN. As I said, it's one of the best for being a newbie friendly or a beginner friendly VPN. And that's why I uh, highly recommend it. And then on top of that, uh, they make it again, really easy to use and uh, they have very fast speeds. So you're not having to worry about um, that reduction in speed when you're trying to watch ESPN and worrying about it buffering or worrying about a loss in video quality um, or resolution because your speeds have dropped too much, which again is a common issue with a lot of VPNs. And so uh, again, that's gonna, Express is just gonna be kind of that best overall VPN pick. Uh, and then besides, of course, ESPN, you can also use it for torrenting or file sharing, um, streaming other media services like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, and so forth. Now, the second pick is Surfshark. And again, I'll put a link in the description um, that will take you to any deals or discounts not available on their website or just to get more information about them as well. But with Surfshark, this is my favorite budget-friendly VPN. Um, so it has a lot of the same core features that ExpressVPN has. It just doesn't have quite the same level of performance. So for example, it's not quite as fast as ExpressVPN, but still very fast. Uh, if you compare like servers, Surfshark has 1,700, whereas Express has 3,000. Surfshark is in 63 countries, whereas Express is in 94 countries. So you can see some of the difference there, and that's some of the trade-off um, that you get with the savings of going with Surfshark. But Surfshark is also very uh, newbie friendly or beginner friendly. It's very easy to use. Um, it's designed for the beginner in mind. Um, I'd say it might even be just a little bit more so than ExpressVPN. It's very simple, wonderful to use. Um, you can also use it for torrenting, gaming online, other media uh, content like Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon. And they also have 24 seven live chat support like ExpressVPN, it's also very helpful. And they also have a 30 day money back guarantee. So if for whatever reason you try it and you're not happy with it, you can always get your money back. Both Express and Surfshark are really good about that. Now, the one thing Surfshark does that is better than ExpressVPN is they give you or allow you to connect to an unlimited amount of devices. So this is particularly good if you have a large family or household 
and you want everyone to be able to use the VPN on as many devices as they'd like. ExpressVPN gives you up to five devices you can connect to, uh, which is still great, and for it's kind of the average industry-wide, but Surfshark is the only VPN to give you unlimited number of connections. But it's a really cool feature if you think you might need that many devices to connect to or want a lot of devices to connect to. So as an example, everyone in your, your household could be uh, on their phone using this VPN. They could be on a computer using this VPN. You could have it on a TV, gaming devices, tablets, um, and they can be using them simultaneously at the same time. So uh, between the two, again, ExpressVPN and Surfshark are both top picks for allowing you to watch ESPN online. Uh, it's just going to come down to your situation, which one might be best for you. So if you just want the best overall, I'd go with ExpressVPN. It's the fastest, best performance, um, best for all the other things you'd use a VPN for too, uh, with military grade encryption and, and so forth. And, but however, if you want to spend the least amount as, as possible and still have the best VPN you can get, then I'd go with Surfshark. The trade-off with the money you're saving is the performance isn't quite as strong as ExpressVPN, so the speeds, for example, aren't quite as fast. Um, but one benefit is you get unlimited devices, so or limited devices you can connect to. So if that's important to you, if you're gonna, if you think you're going to need more than five then you may want to try Surfshark. And then, uh, again, I'll put links to both of these in the description so you can compare that way as well, compare the deals between the two, because in the links, um, it'll take you to the best deals and discounts that aren't available on their website. Otherwise, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments below. Um, I'd love to know other uh, VPN uh, questions you have, but what other types of content you like to watch or what other security types of content you like to watch. And uh, otherwise, I hope you stay safe out there and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video.